Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome for yet another episode two of the Growth Catalyst. And my name is Ronnie, and today I'm joined with uh, Mr. Waliaola Fred and then uh, Nicholas Mo Yinda. By the way, I've realized that all these guys have a uniqueness in their names. He is called uh, Mr. Waliaola and he is called um, Mo Yinda. Also, uh, Mr. Waliaula, yes, yes. uh, we, uh, we have all heard of what's going on uh, the entire world, the pandemic, uh, COVID-19. Where do you think the world is going after COVID-19? Wow. Thank you so much, uh, Kels, for having me here. And uh, I'm happy to be here uh, on this program today. And uh, just right to... To respond to your question yep. regarding uh, COVID-19. Yes, where the um, world will be at the end of it all. We believe that <coughs> for everything, in whichever way it comes, it has negatives and positives. That's very true. Yeah. So for us with COVID-19, we should harness on the positives what is the Lord speaking to us in this period. Uh, I have a common uh, saying uh, that I've read in many places that uh, when the fishermen okay. are not at the lake fishing, okay. they are in their homes repairing the nets. So <laughs> you as a Christian, what are you doing during this period? Are you repairing your nets or you are just waiting for the time then you go back and fish? Anyway, uh, talking about uh, the positive side or the negative side, like yesterday uh, when the president was talking, he talked about uh, what he actually likes about... Uh, the, the the coronavirus that our families have come together yes. what do you what, what do you think yeah there's a, a point on what the president said uh that uh, uh the bonding yeah of families yeah. yeah he talked about is bonding now uh has been reinforced by the coronavirus because uh you don't have plans of saying i'm going to go to office then from there i'll pass by my friends is that shop. the same case with you at yeah. home yeah yeah like like yeah. Are you sure? That is it. Yeah, because <laughs> much of the time I'm with the, uh, the children. Uh, interesting, my wife is a, a public health practitioner, so she's not home much oh, of she's, the time. Oh, she's on the team responding. Yes, for, yeah, okay. she's on the task force. But um, me and my children, we are home. We have played all the games. Oh, I, and I, we have done I understand. all home calls. We share the work at home and it is good. So I've even discovered the potentials of each wow. of my children that's good in this period of lockdown so, so this uh, so, so there's a positivity in, yes, this, whole in thing. this whole thing anyway uh ladies and gentlemen that uh that is the covid 19 uh update from uh, mr waliaola and today we are going to be talking about sex and dating i know this topic is very sensitive and actually uh so many people don't want to talk about this exactly. even in the church yes. and um Mr. Oliaula, yes. with uh, the changing world today, uh, it's so clear to me that uh, we need a clear and a better understanding of sex, dating, and uh, maybe relationship somewhere in there, yes. right? Yeah. Yes, and uh, it's, it's a really tricky, confusing, and a hard uh, topic to deal with. But again, uh, if you don't give it an early thought, mm. then... Uh, you may regret the end result. Because yes. trust me, the emotions out of this topic, <laughs> it's really, really powerful. That's true. And then uh, still today, uh, sex has been normalized, sadly, I will say, to an extent that uh, virginity is taken as a joke. Mm. So my question to start with is, is sex really important? in a relationship or when someone is dating. Thank you so much. As, uh, as you mentioned earlier, this has been a topic which has been uh, evaded. That's true. By very many so many people, people have run away from it. About it. That's right. Yeah? And uh, <coughs> they have reasons for it because it has a lot behind it. Yeah, that's true. But uh, one thing that I have to say is there's nothing uh, that should be left unturned. There should be no stone and left tans. unturned. So you need to talk about everything. everything. Call yes. a spade yes, a spade. And, uh, and you know, the Bible says that uh, uh, know the truth and the, the truth, truth shall set, set you free. free. That's so right. when you know the truth, you know how to go about it. You know, uh, when you have 
the knowledge okay. about something, then you doesn't catch you unaware. Uh, you you are prepared. So, what should I say? Uh, biblically, still in Ecclesiastes, I think one eight. Okay. He talks about time for everything. Yeah. That's right. The, uh, you are, you have the time you are born, time you are nurtured and groomed, <coughs> uh, you mature. And time comes when you say, oh, I'm running this race That's right. of salvation. If at all you are a born again Christian, you are walking the journey, then you're running and you look around and see who is running near you <laughs> or who is cheering you. So now uh, you are talking to the Christians. Exactly. Now, how about those ones mm. that are really not in church? Because yes. uh, right now we are helping mm. all mm. the young people, exactly. those who are in church and those who are not in church. Yes. 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 So um, on both sides, for a Christian, as you are walking the salvation journey, you reach a point and you feel, yeah, I think I'm above 18. Yeah. Maybe you've finished uh, campus or you are still at campus, but you feel you want to interact more than uh, the normal interaction, if I call it normal. Just the uh, school, how is the, whole, the assignment, sharing the notes and what. But you want, you have that natural attraction to someone. Like beyond, yes. what we call beyond friendship exactly. sometimes. Yes. Okay. So um, time comes and you feel, yeah, you want to venture into that direction. Okay. If you're a Christian, you know where to run first. That's true. You first go and go in your room. In your closet. Speak to your God. Okay. And say, God, I'm here. I'm feeling there's somebody I'm seeing and what. And you know, sh it's sh natural. Should I? Yeah. Uh, what I want to say is people should not feel bad about the feelings they are having for okay. someone. It's not a sin. So it's normal? It's very normal to have feelings. You say, wow, she has a good body. Or oh, if it's a lady, says, oh, that guy is cool. <coughs> he speaks well. Maybe he's eloquent and uh, he, he's good at class, okay. you know? And it's good to, 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 to appreciate That's someone. Right. Okay. What happens after the appreciation is what matters most. Okay. How do you venture into... Uh, going beyond the seeing and appreciating you'll have the audacity to say can i become somebody's friend and there are some people who can't even wait to cultivate the friendship <laughs> they storm it and hit it hard <laughs> you know um, Tambu Manyi, it doesn't yeah they've never interacted they've never even had they may be gone to the same fellowship or they've yeah. never had a party but says Malavi, she's nice let me storm. Okay, uh, now, Mr. Oliaola, yeah. I've, I've, uh, I've gotten that whole point, but, yeah. ne but then uh, right now I'm imagining, yeah. imagine uh, they are already dating. Yes. Like uh, the girl and the boy are pushing out. Mm. So uh, is sex really a necessity okay. in mm. the relationship? Or All right. That's a very, very, very pertinent it, question. Okay. This is what I can say. And uh, I know my brother will will interject and uh, we'll see how we move. Now, it depends on what you're choosing to do with that relationship. Okay. Yeah? What, 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 Whether what you're born you again or you are not, if you have plans of saying, this is the person I've seen and I've decided in my mind and my spirit is okay with it, okay. that we may go beyond this level of a friendship, and okay. maybe this one might become my future husband or my future wife. Yeah? Okay, uh, now, yes. if you want to, to have a plan to that direction, okay. and then you decide to think of what you are going to do with this person, so you lay down a program, okay. what you are going to do with that person. <coughs> okay. We shall interact, we shall share the data that we have, uh, <laughs> I will visit them, they will visit me, then, if you bring in the element of sex, okay. it means you have climbed the tree from the branch. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> you, no. you, you can easily <laughs> access the fruit, the mango, a, a very ripe one. Okay. But because you have climbed through the branch, okay. you might end up not concentrating on how you went there. Mm? Mm -hmm. Though you find yourself uh, using a stick to hit that mango, you'd even end up hitting the raw one and the ripe one, and so both of the them will fall. Uh, oh, you miss the ripe one. So what's, you know? what, so what's the whole point in the... Uh, the best thing is, if you have a roadmap that this might become, or you feel you're praying towards having a permanent relationship with that person, okay. you lay your <coughs> strategies and okay. lay the program, 
and then say what are the do's and what are the and don'ts. The don'ts. Because if you begin the sex before you reach the time okay. of uh, marriage, okay. it's just like a maize uh, plant, if I may say. If a maize plant uh, is growing and the cob is on, yeah. and then before maturity, before you see that it is mature enough, and then you go and, and pluck it. Pluck it. Huh? Trust me, as you pluck to check, you say, oh, um, mm. It's not mature enough. <laughs> huh? Then you go. Trust me, as you leave, another person will come and check yeah. whether the maize is mature or not. And in so doing, even the birds will come and begin poking the, the maize before it matures. So, and so, by uh, the time you reach the time <coughs> of getting it to go and roast, it is messed up. So, um, so can, I, can I interject in this? Mm. Um, when you really talk, when you really go and check about dating and relationships, there are two different things. Dating is just a, a minor issue that leads to a relationship. And so I wouldn't really advise someone to go for what a relationship would offer and bring it in dating. So this is where plan comes in. Um, you're supposed to go in for dating and relationships with a work plan, let me say, with a plan in you. Sure. Um, it's just like going on a journey without any idea of what you're going to do on that journey. You'll meander and go somewhere else you're not supposed to be. So I really, I really don't, don't really, really advise someone to go in for sex in your very first month of dating, let's say, because um, that means you only came in for that and it won't even be of value and yet actually in uh, this talk this this all essence is supposed to be driving to something really big that is marriage so if you really come in for sex at the moment of dating that means you're you're ready at the climax <coughs> of what you should have reached at a point of time <laughs> you know uh, you remind me of uh of this issue, I've always shared with the people I, I counseled during, when, who are going into marriage. I say, if you are constructing a house mm -hmm. and you've just uh, excavated the foundation yeah. and maybe put a hard core and mm -hmm. a few bricks, you cannot carry your bed and go in that house that the house is done and you, mm -hmm. you begin residing there. That's true. You okay. give it a mo time, let the constructors do their job, they roof the house, they put okay. the shutter in, they paint, and you'll be ready to enter so if you rush you end up crushing okay so this is when my this is when my question comes in um w how long should the dating period be okay so that it is easier for someone okay and uh just to add on that question when do you think is the right time to start dating and also uh do you think uh it's is it okay or not okay to have sex when you already know that mm. I have this person, I have chosen them, and mm. they are the person I am going to marry. This is going to be a marathon. <laughs> and then the last one is, uh, when do you think is too fast mm. or too quick emotionally? Mm. And when do you think a relationship is going too fast okay. into marriage? Uh, when I begin going in details about this, the th there are three questions about three yeah, or four. Yeah. Uh, we might end the whole day here. Okay. But I'll summarize it in this way. As a, uh, my brother said, that uh, dating and relationships, relationships are two different are two things. Different things. But in most cases, the two are mingled up. Yeah, uh, I, I think yeah. uh, somewhere mm. those two incidences yes. meet, up. meet at one yes. point they call it a nexus nexus <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> yeah so uh what i can say is um uh if you are planning to start a date or going into dating yeah. mm -hmm. you must be having it in the back of your mind that you are going in a certain direction that's true okay. meaning you've okay. checked out yourself there's maturity and you're ready to handle dating which might lead into the other 
box so, of relationships. So when you right? talk about mm -hmm. you've checked yourself, yes. does that also bring in uh, the issue of uh, personal values before exactly. dating? Yes. Okay. You mm -hmm. must be of age. Okay. Number two, you must be ready to be accountable to your actions. Yeah. Number three, you must be having a plan of action. Why, where do you want to go? Where, because where do you see this yes, thing heading? Because if you just go in, you'll end up what they call pinky ponky. You know? Yeah. So yeah. You let just... me try this, let me try the other one, let me try the other one. But if because in that process of trying out, yeah. you can easily fall in a trap. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So you are just driving. And there are no direction. jokes about relationships. And once sex comes in, there are no jokes. So long as you are uh, a teenager, yeah, okay. a teenager, you are yeah. there. Yeah. And you joke around with somebody's daughter. Trust me. You're finished. There will be a pregnancy. <laughs> yeah. Of course. I know they will say, ah, no, we shall use these things. We shall say. But you know when you are friends with someone, mm -hmm. even if you go with protective sex, yeah. you'll use it first day. Second, Second day, day, you say, ah, ah. you know me. <laughs> and now Don't things. you trust me? So what I'm saying is you need yeah. to think of where you're heading. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you start... Um, uh, Dating, yeah. okay. you should be sure that maybe you are done with school. So okay. concentra real concentration, yeah? This dating of saying, let's go for party, we go and uh, maybe out and what, th th that's a different story. Okay. But if you're saying, I'm concentrating on one person, it means you must be ready to go into a relationship. Then, if you bring in sex, you'll have preempted everything. There will mm. be nothing to... To, to, to anticipate, to yearn about. So, 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 so it's money, like, I know her, mm -hmm. uh, everything, I know him, so what is it? So, so it's mm -hmm. like you've washed and yes. hanged yes. on yes. the ground. Yes, uh. yeah. and the whole thing will become dirty again. So, so, <laughs> so, so the it, best thing is do it in such a way that you, you make, uh, I, I, I normally call it policing one another. Okay. You do things at an arm's distance. Okay. Share ideas, share plans, Share whatever you, uh, anything that you have that you feel I should tell my friend. Eh? Mm -hmm. But some of the things you say, mm -mm, mm -mm. Bo -bo -ja. you know, sometimes such a distance. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Something of, uh, something of that kind. You say, uh, if you come at my mm. place and uh, uh, you become uh, a little bit. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, the chemistry working out and you mm. can't control it. The body is coming. Uh, don't come alone. <laughs> If at all you cannot hold, there are people mm. who are very strong, by the way. Yeah, that's, that's Even yeah. if you, they go together and they sit on the same bed like this, nothing will happen. They are like a hard rock. Yes. <laughs> but in, on, a, on, on, a, on, a, on a gauge of 100%, mm -hmm. I think you find 1% of those who can hold. Because this mm. chemistry is serious. It is God ordained, by the way. Kay. So if you have no authority to manage yourself, please. If you're going mm. there, say, girls, man, I'm going to see her, but... Uh, Give me a push. So let's go. <laughs> now so you can have your tea, have your popcorn, have fun. You can even dance and jump. And time come, you pray, you go away. Yes, Nicholas, okay. you are saying yes. something. Um, so which advice do you give to a person, or let me say two people, who have already had the sex yes. in their relationship, okay. and it's, it's seeming to die, mm. but they don't want it to die? Exactly. So what do they do? All right. Now, you, uh, by the time somebody realizes that they've engaged into, they've gone into dating, into a relationship, mm -hmm. and the sex has come into the picture. Yeah. Once they, they realize that this might be something which is not right, okay. it is good enough for me to say that's a very good start. Call secondary virginity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you have had sex with a man, and then you realize, oh, I did it, but it was premature. <laughs> I, I, I think it was hmm? wrong. Yes. I was, in, I was yes. in my right sense. Yes. Okay. You come back to God. You come back to yourself okay. and tell yourself, it happened, it's happened. Uh, no, there was a saying, uh, there was a song. Uh, I think it's a secular song. Twaria eh? Kobe, uh, by by By, <laughs> by Ed Wamara. Yeah? <laughs> that one, you say, that is a gone story. Okay. Let me begin from a fresh so platter. A fresh and... Let's move on. How do and you deal with the burden of guilt then? Ah, that one is the, it, it's God who can handle. Okay. Because even if you go to a counselor and say, Monange, I, 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 I dated, I went into a relationship and hmm, things happened. They were nice, but Monange, it was not <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. You just have to go to God and 
tell it to God and mm -hmm. I'm telling you he's gracious. He's That's gracious. Right. Okay. I'll just say, refer to the analogy that pastor gave us, uh, I think two Sundays ago, about mm -hmm. a son who is five years, who messes up his clothes, mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? And then the dad says, come, my son. He washes, makes them clean, and gives them something to eat. So it doesn't matter how dirty it is. That is our he God. That's how that. gracious our God is. Whether you've done it twice or three times or, or a hundred mm -hmm. times, but you realize it is a wrong thing, I want to begin from a fresh platter, the Lord will say, come, my son. The way you are, and you'll begin from there. Okay. okay. Uh, and then uh, uh, at some point uh, you talked of friendship, but then uh, I've, uh, I've realized there are times <laughs> where friendship turns into a uh, situationship. Mm. So uh, this is like uh, you visit your friend and then uh, you guys are seated, you are talking, and then uh, a situation comes up, what I call a situation ship. I like the English. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you like the English. <laughs> So, um, how, how do you deal with that? Because um, most times, uh, young people, they really want it to be about them. Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't, want to, I, I wouldn't want someone to tag along with me. You get? Mm -hmm. So, I want it to be me and them. Mm -hmm. I pretend to be so strong. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we even call it uh, the brotherhood syndrome. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what, what would you say about that? When uh, the friendship turns into a situationship. Mm. What would you say about that? Ah, so can I get it you right? Can I get you right to say that you are in a place? Yeah. Your friends? Yes. Yeah. You didn't have uh, a, like a specified like, agenda of what you're going to do? Not really. Then something yeah. happens. <laughs> yes. Like, so what uh, is that something? Like uh, you either uh -huh. start kissing yeah. or okay. you seduce each other. Yes. Something of that kind. Yes. So um, I'll borrow your word. Or I borrow the, the, the what is happening now, okay. social distancing. Okay. Yeah, you must be very sure of uh, where you are supposed to end. Okay. Mm? When you see that things are going bad, just realize if you're a Christian, mm -hmm. you say, eh, "I'm going to heaven," but whatever we are going to do now might curtail now what my if journey. You're not a Christian. If you are not a Christian, <laughs> yes. Still, if you touch each other mm -hmm. and you go to the level of fondling, kissing and sex. So at the end of the day, mm -hmm. what will be it? Uh, you will have preempted everything. You know, this is your very good friend. Then you have got, gone into sex and then uh, you never know the repercussions. Yeah. Maybe you are still in school. You know, sex is, is it to do, is a serious business. That's true. Mm, is it for yeah. enjoyment between yeah. the two, two people, the yeah. couple, husband and wife, but again, is a procreation avenue to have children, mm -hmm. yeah? So, mm -hmm. if you begin it now, you may not be even having, uh, it might be a hostel room. Yeah, most maybe, definitely. <laughs> maybe yeah. at campus. Mostly. Yes, <laughs> you're in a hostel room, and then it is happening. Yeah. Now, what if a pregnancy happens there? So, are you going to cut short school and they say, now let's begin the family, or what will happen? But there are also dangers. If you don't do a protective sex, you can get an infection, HIV, STI, and many other things. So you just have to rule out the things and say, let's wait. I know they are good and nice, but let's wait a little bit. Yeah. When the D time comes, we shall have this thing in the morning, in the night. Uh, uh, you can even wake up at three. It is okay. Yeah, but for now, you say, mm -mm, let's interact up this level and let's cut it short. Yeah, just ch to chip in again in, in Kel's question. Um, the situationship uh, mostly happens with influence. So let me assume um, I have friends around me. All these guys are dating. And uh, it seems I'm the only one who seems to be the outcast. Mm. So in, the, in that course, mm. my mind is driven in that direction they are in. Yes. So I look around for the one person who is not dating also. Mm. Then I try to also try to patch feel, up. Feel, eh? feel, feel, yeah. Feel, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get So yes. What, yes, what, do you, mm. what do you say about this? Okay. Like which advice basically? Mm. Yeah. Um, I think there's a 
was it Namaganda, the gospel artist who sang a song that in Burida Goita Naye, William Pisa Zo, William Pisa Zo. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, this cohort of yeah. people, yeah, all the friends that you're having, uh, it, there has to be a purpose or principles in mm -hmm. your friendship as a team. Maybe you are boys and you are age mates or you are schoolmates or you are when you go to the same university. Yeah. But uh, uh, people are relating and you find yourself in that place. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I think uh, you as I'll begin from Christians because this is where we are. If you're a Christian, you say what they are doing is not right. Yeah. And I should not just fall into the trap just because everybody is doing it. Mm -hmm. I know you'll say, eh, but you're a Yeah, guy. <laughs> we know you, you, know, you, know, you have gone out the way you came. You know, you say, no, I know where I'm going. And mm. uh, my principles are, okay. uh, I will not do what you're doing just because uh, you want, I want to feel with you. You, you, you. you stand by your word and your principles. And I'm telling you, you reap fruits tomorrow. They will look at you, they will come and attend your wedding and say, Munange, fetwa, fetwa, keda, ne mwana jetuniko, ne se Mr. Sajimala, because okay. I had issues and um, Muse said, um, I'm not paying anymore, you know. So you have to watch. Understand by your principles. Okay. And life will, will, will determine who you are going to be tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to do it because your friends are doing it. Well, uh, I, I, yeah. I, think that's, I, I think that's really nice. Uh, anyway, to end, uh, to end with, uh, this is probably the last because uh, we, are, we are really doing bad with time. Uh, so uh, this is probably uh, for people who... Anyway, let me just ask you. Do you think it's, uh, it's wrong to get into intimacy with someone? Because uh, sometimes it's uh, difficult to mutually care or be in a caring and loving relationship because uh, they are both prerequisites yes. for intimacy. Yes. Do you mm -hmm. think it's wrong to get into intimacy before you learn to take care of yourself in like one minute? Okay. Um, taking care of yourself, you know, <laughs> the Bible says that uh, uh, love your neighbor as you love, love yourself. Love yourself. Yes. So okay. if you have not learned how to love yourself mm. and manage your life very well, you may not transfer that to the next person yeah. and do the same to them. So you need to first recollect and say, who am I? First understand yourself. Yeah? What are your values? What are your, uh, your strong points? What are your weaknesses? You carry out what they call normal in development, that SWOT analysis. Yeah. Yeah. Carry out a SWOT <laughs> analysis of yourself. What are your strengths? What are your uh, weaknesses. Uh, weaknesses? What are your opportunities? opportunities? What are your yes. Threats? Yes. Yeah. And then if you have any, any weaknesses, you say, how do I address them? So you okay. need to evaluate, evaluate yourself. yourself. Yes. So when you know yourself mm -hmm. and you have a firm foundation of yourself, mm -hmm. then you can easily copy and paste that to okay. another else. person. So and it will so bottom line well. is you need yes. to evaluate yourself Thoroughly. before you get into yes. intimacy. Exactly. Uh, okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Waliaula. Uh, in one minute, uh, could you just uh, give us your closing remarks about okay. uh, this whole thing? Uh, I want to appreciate the organizers of this program and uh, for giving me opportunity to okay. come and share. This topic is wide. Yeah, that's true. Actually, yeah. it is mm -hmm. wide and a wide route. I, 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 I'm <coughs> thinking we need to do a, a part two of Ex exactly. sex and dating. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Sex and dating are, are very pertinent issues, but many times we sweep this topic under the carpet. Yeah. Yeah. But it's high time we talked about it uh, and we share with the young people so that they make what they call, uh, what we call informed decisions. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm happy that we have, we have opened this topic and we have not ended here thank you so much so, oh, so uh, i'm hoping we have a, a part two of sex and dating yeah. and okay. also uh, nicholas uh, what are your last words before we end the show um basically when uh when you come into your life sex and dating is pretty much jumped whenever it's being addressed they just hit on a few things but when we have something like this that basically brings out the true the true the true things about dating and relationships and sex as well, it helps the young people out there know that they're either doing the right thing or the wrong thing so they can know what to do tomorrow or 
at that specific time if they are into it. So I think this is really good and uh, I hope that we shall have the next, I'm really anxious. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, you guys have heard from Mr. Waliaula and Nicholas and uh, to all the young people out there, I don't think you want to get into the risks of uh, sexual intimacy, especially now with all the effects uh, and all the other repercussions that comes along with it. Uh, remember today we were talking about sex and dating and like I said, I think we really need to uh, come back with another part two of sex and dating because uh, this is a really, really wide and uh, a very difficult topic to talk about and uh, to, 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 to know more of uh, what has been happening, make sure you hit us on our platforms at The Move on Facebook, on Twitter and on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Next time.